Okay, next target. Hey, there's our buddy. I wouldn't stand back there. 60 degrees, north-northeast wind at 2 miles an hour. And not enough wind to show up on the radar. All right, this one's going to be H&M Gen 1 versus H&M Gen 2. We'll compare the two. Gen 1's up first. We'll shoot a couple fighters, bottom set of targets, and then we'll shoot eight shot groups for each of these. Compare the difference. All right, the Gen 1's going to try to run around 8.55. Reasonably calm day. All right, bottom left-hand target. 844. 800. 44. Let's go two and a quarter turns. Shoot one more. Trying to get to 855. 851. Okay, there we go. Close enough. So I moved the uh, elevation up to 13. And all these I'm uh, using the magazines. Okay, Gen 1's first. Top left target. 849. Ooh, a little bit high. Let's see what the next one does. 851. All right, well, if they keep all landing up there, I guess that'll be all right. Looks like the target ribbon may be going a little bit to the right. 847. Well, that one hit the top of the bull. Give it just a little bit more on the hammer spring. 858. 854. Speed's pretty good. I wanted them to run about 855. 861. 854. One high, two low. Okay, last one. 849. That looks like a seven out of eight, inch and three quarter, two inch group. Got the one high. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's move on to the uh, Generation 2s. Okay, and since the Generation 2s are same grain weight, 28 grain, and same diameter. I've got a note that uh, they run best about 860, so I'm just going to turn up the hammer spring, maybe uh, eighth of a turn. And we're holding center on all of these. 849. 858. Let's see where they stack up. 851. 854. That one was probably wind. Rimming up here is still going a little left. Seems like it's windier out than the radar shows. Radar didn't show a hint of wind. All right, maybe it's calmed down a little bit. 861. 847. Come on, wind. This seems like more than two miles an hour. 854. Okay, that one wasn't affected too much. Last one. 800. 51. And I don't think that one was either. Okay, so about a uh, inch and three quarter, two inch group. About the same as the Generation 1s. There's the one flyer on the Generation 1, so I will, I'll definitely give this group to the Gen 2s. Even though it seemed like it was a little bit windier on, on this second group for the Gen 2s. All right, what I'll do is, so it's fair, I'll fill up the rifle again. I'll shoot the Gen 2s first, and then I'll shoot the Gen 1s second. And we're back. Okay, we're going to shoot the Gen 2s again, so I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave all the settings where they are, but I am going to uh, give it a couple warm-up shots. That way we're not stopping, starting at the dead top of the fill. So let me take two warm-up shots on the cider target, and let's just see where they drop in. Everything up, everything on the last group was high left. Let's see if these drop in high left. 858. Or dead center. 861. Two right on top of each other, dead center. <laughs> okay, new string. All right, so hopefully that evens things up a little bit. And we'll go uh, top set of targets, third target over. 865. 856. Funny how we're top left again. Could be wind. 863. 861. I think I same hold that one. 861. Looks like that one caught the edge of the bull. 854. 
That one kind of caught the top of the bowl. So now they're falling back down a little bit. 861. All right, last one. 854. Okay, yeah, about an inch and a half through, maybe. Not bad. And what was our speed like? Looks like our average speed was probably 860, right in there for the eight shots. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty acceptable group, inch and a half. All right, let's uh, try and run the Gen 1s. Let's just try and run them at the same place that the that we ran the Gen 2s. I'm not going to make any changes at all. Okay, last target on top. 858. 856. 851. 854. Well, it's a promising start, but every time I say that, jinx myself and throw a big flyer in there. See what happens here. 854. Nope, cut center of the bowl. 856. Well, apparently. 861. There's the flyer. <laughs> it's usually one. All right, I think this is the last shot. 849. Wow, that's the best group so far. Gen 1s. What is that? Inch and a quarter group, 7 out of 8. Maybe inch and a half group, inch and three quarter, 8 out of 8. Besides that flyer high, that's the best group that we've shot so far. Yeah, these H&Ns, fairly consistent, really. So it's almost a tie. It's like the Gen 2s between groups 2 and 3 are... Probably the same size as the Gen 1s in groups 1 and 4, because that fourth group is probably the, the best group out of all of them. Okay, we're going to call it a tie. <laughs> all right, see you next time.